Welcome to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. So today we're going to take a look at linked analysis and how we can use it to gain more insights into our data. So we have a data set that has different versions of the data, such as actual budget. We have data for multiple years. Uh, we have product categories, products. We have the customer region and country, longitude, latitude, like geo information, and a set of measures. So we have the revenue, the cost, the cost of goods, the labor cost. So what we want to use is linked analysis. And we will start in this session with just using linked analysis with one model. In the next session, we're going to take a look at two models and how we can also use linked dimensions. So we're going to quickly set up the model. Uh, we configure the version, we make sure the dates are configured, and we make sure the customer ID and the name are actually configured. And then we're going to also configure the geo enrichment. So we now created the model, we saved the model into the repository, so we can now start setting up our story. Uh, we're going to start with an empty page. And the first thing we're going to create is the chart. So we're going to use the data from the model that we just created. And then we're actually going to show the revenue broken down by our customers. And we're going to filter it down to just show the top 10 of customers. We also going to set up a second chart then, which basically shows the data from the same model, but we're looking at a different view. And then we're going to basically link those two charts together using linked analysis. So the second chart, we're basically just going to show the revenue by product. And then what we want to do is each time you select something on the left hand chart, we want to filter down the right hand chart as well. So we're going to go, we're going to configure linked analysis. Now linked analysis has multiple options. So as you can see, we can choose to actually have all the widgets in the story and be impacted. This would mean all of it pretty much in our story. Then all the widgets on this page, which would in our case, the two charts that we have in front of us, or, and we will take a look at it, you, we can use the option to only use selected widgets. So in our example, we will start with the option of all the widgets on the page. We leave the option of the data point selection unused. And now we can see if we click, for example, on bike world and we filter down the chart on the bike world, the chart on the right hand side is being filtered as well. But remember, we had to actually filter. So we remove the filter and we're going to go back and change the configuration. And then this time we enable the option to use basically the data point selection as part of the linked analysis. And now we don't have to filter. All we have to do is simply select the elements in the left hand chart and the right hand chart is being filtered based on what you selected on the left hand side. So let's go back into edit mode and let's put in a third chart. So we're going to make a copy of the chart again. And this time, instead of the revenue, we take a look at a different measure. We use the cost of goods and we're going to take product dimension out and we're going to put in the product category. And this time we're going to go and actually configure linked analysis and we use the option to select explicitly which widgets we want to be impacted. So we go to the option only selected widgets. And as you can see, that option gives us multiple additional options. We can choose that any new widget is being impacted automatically. We can use the filter on data point selection and 
we can choose which of the widgets is being impacted. So we unselected our new chart. So as you can see, each time we click on the left-hand chart, only the right-hand chart is being impacted and the third chart we created is not. And you can see there is no filter. So now we're going to add another page and we're going to take a look at how the table can use the linked analysis. So we quickly define our table. We're going to take the region. We're going to put in some measures and then we're going to put it in another chart and we configure the linked analysis to go from the table to the chart. And now we go and we're going to enable linked analysis with the table as a starting point. And you will notice there's one additional option. So not only, not only can we filter on the data point selection, we can also use the table to control the measures. Now, before this works, we have to make one small adjustment on our chart. So instead of actually choosing the revenue, you can see there is a new entry now, which is basically the name of the widget was the word measures behind. So in our case, the daily dose episode 24. So each time we select a measure then in the table, the chart is being updated. So obviously the data point selection works. As an example, we can choose Ontario and our chart is filtered. But now if we click on the column headers for the measure, the chart is actually switching the measures. So I hope this quick introduction into linked analysis was helpful. And in the next episode, we will take a look at linked analysis across multiple models. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.